What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we have another Cosmic Eclipse pre-release opening. We have three more of these boxes. This is our last three, so I'm kind of sad. Uh, I was a little hesitant to open them, but we're definitely just going to do it. We also restocked on our sleeves, even though it, the we'll probably be tapering down the hidden fates, and that's what really killed us on the sleeve. So these guys should hold us over for quite some time. But uh, all right, we got three more pre-release Cosmic Eclipse boxes. Let's do this. All right, let's get into our first one for the decks. I think I'm just still going for those Fionns. I feel like it was pointed out to me that the there is an important detail that I was missing in our previous videos where the opponent gets to pick the what Pokemon switches into active. So definitely, you know, I thought I was confused and now it makes a lot more sense. Like, why is this just not straight up better than Custom Catcher or Great Catcher? All right, so we didn't get the Entei. I'm not even sure if there's other ones besides Entei and Fion. That's the only ones I've seen. But definitely getting more Entei's than we would like. And here are our four packs. We're not going to go through the actual the deck. Usually it's the same. I feel like there was Piplup Evolutionary Line, uh, Tepig, and um, the Ghost one, the, the Dusclops one as well. Dust Noir. Duskull. <laughs> there we go. That's the basic. All right, stuff we're looking for. Uh, let's see. Obviously, any of the alternate arts. I think I really want the Blastoise tag team. Finally, the base turtle Pokemon gets his tag team. And let's see, don't we don't need to switch that? That's what we're looking to pull. All right, we have a Metal Energy, Lilip, Jolteon. Okay, nice. Those are always cool. Pangoro, Carvana, Chincho. Azuril, Rufflet, Oddish, a Jangmo O is our reverse, and then a Florgis. Let's see what we have here. Stage two, we'll go through the attack first, flip three coins 60 times for each one Pokemon. This Pokemon is now confused, and then it's effect. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve a Pokemon during your turn, you may choose two random cards from your opponent's hand. Your opponents reveal those cards and shovels them into their deck. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I wonder if there's a way, probably not, but if you could kind of like de-evolve that and then re-evolve that and kind of just like keep taking out your opponent's hand. Can't think of a way to do that, but... Alright, on to pack number two. I must say, I'm so happy I went to that free release This is having such a good time. Roller Skater, very good card. Clef Clefairy's interesting too. Ultima, I don't think it's good enough. Trip 3 is white colorless, it's kind of high cost. But it's an interesting card. Swirlux, that's a weird Pokemon. Alola, is this a recycled art? This looks very familiar. Slugma, that also looks very familiar. Chincho, Weezing, I very much am not a fan of when they reuse art. I've said this many times, but like obviously there's a, you know, mechanics, a game part of the game. But then I feel like for all the collectors out there, it's all about the art. All right, B blow away bomb. Once during your turn, when you discard this Pokemon with the effect Roxy, you put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Ah, oh, Weezing is always has these interesting effects these days. And then a Swana. I see nothing interesting here. Pretty cool Weezing card though. Although you do, it only applies if you use Roxy. So Roxy is a cool card though. Discard two, I think, non-GX cards from your hand, and then draw three cards for each of them. All right, so nothing too crazy yet. Hopefully we can step up our game. Although with these boxes, like, anything can happen. They could be absolutely loaded. Ah, I do like this Mimikyu. Not as good as I originally thought it was, but still very interesting. This one's also pretty good. Attack of the Ultra Beast is attached to just 10 more to act as Act opponent's Pokemon for each prize card, so it gets stronger over time. I think uh, Buzzwall has that built in too. Swirlix, that Grimer again. Slugma, I feel like we're getting all the same commons every single time. Whimsicott, Sneaky Pocket, put a card from your lot in your Lost Zone if you do draw three cards. Interesting. Then Lost March. And then a Swoobat. Your opponent chooses one of their po own Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage. Charming Stamp. Maybe, maybe. You could do that relatively quickly. It's only one energy. I feel like if your opponent gets to pick, that's obviously not ideal, but oftentimes 
you know, they'll have their the Pokemon that do damage and then just like their support and I feel like often the support doesn't have that many have that much um, HP like that would take out Jirachis. I think Galolan Ninetales has a hundred so it's not perfect but uh, Malamar I think would that do Malamar? No, I think Malamar is more than 100. Drillbur, Tangula, Naginata will not work. All right, maybe not, maybe not terribly good. Magnemite, and wow. So no like ultra rares or anything from that box. We will not be deterred. Let's get into our second one for this opening. All right, I'm struggling with this. It's like government plastic or something. These boxes are kind of cool. I feel like it would make okay storage. Uh, I do like how it supports sleeve cards. Oh, okay, we got a Buzzwall. This is the first time I've actually seen this one. And here's that Beast Boost. Actually, I'm kind of happy I have this. This one, you know, as far as pre-ordering cards, I think this one was like less than a dollar, and I feel like there's potential here. This attack, this Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage for to your opponent's Pokemon. Reach prize card. So that Beast Sight, this is basically the same thing, only 20. So this is some late game da damage. Let's say you've taken out one of their tag teams. So that's three, so plus 60, 120 for two. Eh, actually, that's not that great. <laughs> that's like really late game, I guess, when you need a one or five, two prize cards left. All right, four more packs. So far, we've gotten some pretty good pulls. We did get a, the, the alternate art. We, actually, we pulled a lot of secret rares so far. And we did get the... So Galeo Lunala one, although the N, the uh, the other one is so much better. All right, Tropius, Togedemaru, Absol. Discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon, but it doesn't do any damage. Dirty Throw. Discard a card from your hand. If you can't discard a card, this card uh, attack does nothing. That does not sound good. Eevee, Duskull. That's a. There's some potential in that card too. Lebebe, that's always fun to say. Trevenant, Perplexing Force, 20 damage. You may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Shadow Impact, 120, put 4 damage on this. Alright, so it's kind of like a... Whatchamacallit? Ooh, Dust Noir, very nice. Although, these are going to be plenty of these from the pre-release. You're a team, that's what I was thinking of. Alright, still no Secret Rare. Maybe we just got... We used up all of our luck in our previous openings. Oh, I'm really hoping we don't get shut out at this point, at this pace. All right, let's see. Grass Energy, Roxy. I like that card. Herdier, Tangrowth, Ducklet. <laughs> so cute. Helioptile, Cosmog, Slugma, Whalemur. Ah, Fion Reverse. Very nice. We're getting all the Fions. And then, <laughs> I love this art. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is hilarious. All right, let's see. Dark type this time. Panic Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. I feel like that's how often they're doing this with the uh, grass type. So I feel like more often uh, where there's just like stacking all the effects on there. It's just one switch away from doing 20 damage. <laughs> and then Sludge Bomb for 110. So burned, confused, and poisoned. Oh man. Oh wait. No, we already saw this. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. We got another one? All right, halfway through box number two. Still no crazy hits. It's like the harsh way of being refamiliarized with, uh, you know, what normal pull rates might be after coming back from Tag Call. This card is so good. Uh, coming from Hidden Fates, Dark Tricks, Cosmog. Trepinch, Psyduck, Oddish, Rufflet, a Pancham, always like Pancham Arts, and a Sylveon, what do we have here? Okay, so this is another kind of like evolution, maybe it could be paired up with those evolutions. I feel like that would be a deck that will a lot of people want to try. We'll see how good it is though. Moonblast, for one fairy energy, 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, defending Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. All right, so this is interesting because a lot of times this effect is like you take less damage, but now it's your opponent's uh, the defending Pokemon. So it's just a different aspect, although now you can just switch away. And then Beloved Pulse, 80 plus. If you played a tag team supporter card from your hand during this turn, this does 
160. Okay. Panjay. And let's see. So I think the evolution stuff is plus HP. Give it that to 160. Nah. The plus, what's it, 20 or 30 damage or minus, uh, the minus one colorless energy maybe. But that doesn't sound that strong. Wait, does it need to be a GX evolution? It might need to be a GX evolution. Remember, it has to evolve. Alright, Psychic Energy, plan. Four packs in. Oh, I feel like what was going on in the pre-release slot is like, Oh, I use Disable to disable your Disable. And uh, that just got fun to say and kind of made some games kind of boring. Coughing with also Blow Away Bomb. Alright, so you can use it for each of those. Snow Run, Continuous Headbutt, Flip a Coin to get there. Rock Rough. Deerling. A Dewpider is our reverse. And then, ooh, Oreo Choreo. I feel like this is a very good card. Let's take a look. Uh, actually, we'll go through the attacks. Psychic, color, double colorless is 80, and then strafe, switch this, it does 100. Forget those. Once during your turn, focus it a little bit. Um, once during your turn, if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you may draw three cards. You can't use this effect more than once. So I think um, one important thing is like you can just leave this in your hand if you're worried about, I don't know, Mewtwo Mew using the Naganadal attack or something until you need to use this effect and then yeah, if you take a knockout and I feel like this would be good for any non-GX based type and this hopefully can just stay alive on your bench. I feel you can use this in any deck. This thing is not for attacking, but if they get to the active and you're not playing Psychic Energy, eh, whatever. That's okay, so it's just a very solid card, uh, card draw engine in my opinion. And we are already down to our last box. Ah, our last pre-release box. Wish I got more. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we get this time. We have... Oh, Blacephalon, okay. I didn't. I, a lot of people kept telling me that they were using Blacephalon. It didn't occur to me that that was one of the cards. This was actually really strong in the in the format for the pre-release format. Put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If your opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining, put 12 instead. So after they take out your tag team, and then you can just put all your damage counters wherever you want. Get some knockouts. Pretty cool. concept of the Ultra Beast there is like very specific number for prize cards is kind of interesting. I appreciate how they kept that pretty consistent like it's I think it's primarily an Ultra Beast thing. Lily's full force as I scratch my head this is a head scratcher guys draw four cards at the end of your turn like the draw four cards is good but like nothing crazy at the end of your turn if you have three or more cards shuffle cards from your hand into your deck until you have two cards that is such a drawback. Ends resolve. Discard the top six cards of cards. Six cards from your deck. If any of those cards are basic energy, attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. That one, I feel like, goes much well, much better with his tag team than Lily's with hers. Put that one off to the side. Larvesta. The evolved form of that is pretty cool. Ponyard, Togedemaru, Trap Inch, Flabebe. A Shfeel is our reverse. And then a Heliolisk. Man, we are not getting the pulls today, guys. Well, uh, maybe conceding too early, but like, I don't know, F in the comments or something? <laughs> Pay respects. Unidentified Fossil. All right, here comes like the Seeker Rare. Rapidash, Roxy, Onyx, Whalemur, Pal Palpitoad, Cricketot, a palm. What does this do? Once on your turn, you may put the top card, opponent's uh, top card deck to the bottom without. Okay. Macargo and a go lurk. Stage one. This attack is infected by resistance and fist of antiquity. One sixty. If you have supporter cards in discard pile, this attack does nothing. Ooh, no supporter deck. I don't think so. Wonder if they could have made that even stronger without it being overpowered. Ah, 
All right, fire energy. Baleba and Bryson Man. This is an interesting card. Discard three cards on top of your opponent's of each player's deck. When you play this card, you may discard three other cards from your hand. If you do, each player discards their bench. You basically have to bring your bench down to three. So, obviously, we don't know how the meta is going to play out. But on the one hand, that sounds interesting. Like, oh, I'm all I've, my, my Malamar set up and now I have to make some sacrifices. But then I feel a lot of decks will just be filled with, like, Dedenes that... It's like, oh, I can get rid of my dead enemies. Like, maybe that's a reason. No, that's not a reason to use it. To lose four cards in your hand is super high cost. Tag Call, very good card. Dark Tricks, Sandy Gas, Spiel, Cottony, a Rowlet, Phantom, a Cosmog, and another Dust Noir. Built in spell tag. I do like that. Man, last pack. We only got one hit out of 12 packs. I got spoiled in the beginning. Alright guys, last pack magic, please. Grass energy. Dragonium Z. <laughs> I should put this in my pre-release deck. I didn't even read this part. I was like, oh, I know what this thing does. Attach it and then it gets this attack. No, you can only do it if you have Dragon Claw. <laughs> Alright, draw energy. That's an interesting card. Woobat. Ducklet, Helioptile, Cosmog, Slugma. Oh, okay, we did get a secret rare, so this um this comes close to making it all worth it. I'm not I'm still kinda of disappointed, but I'm happy to get all of these cards. I'm actually gonna double sleeve this guy. I'm not sure how often what the pull rates will be for these, but for now I'm gonna treat give them the secret rare treatment, which means they get double sleeved. Which means I have to go go uh, resleeve all my other ones let's just take a look through here arf arf bark <laughs> when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn you may discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon hmm that's not bad if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack you may discard in it Wow okay that's that's pretty annoying this thing is a non GX you just have you used one of those Oh man, imagine like, I'm not sure if this would work, but the Pidgeotto deck is super annoying. Um, but I guess Technic, or you know, if you can have enough energy from them, but maybe this would help out. Overrun for three colorless. 110, this deck does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Hmm, interesting card. And as far as secret arts go, not the best. Was this Charon or something? Um, not the best one, but we'll take it. Definitely want one of every single one of the secret arts. Maybe multiple. I feel like that would be something that I would get a PSA collection of eventually. So for this opening, pretty disappointing, but we did get two hits. Um, very cool secret art, secret rare alternate art, and then an Oricorio GX. I think this card has tons of potential and really happy I got my second copy at this point. So. That's it for this. We are officially out of Cosmic Eclipse. I hope I can find some way to get my hands on some more without, you know, paying through the nose uh, in time for, or, you know, in the near future. So kind of like hold this over till November. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Join us in the Discord. Follow us on Instagram. Is that all oh we've been streaming a lot uh follow us on twitch and uh catch some of our streams on youtube as well i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time